Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm coming with another Saint Valentine's idea tutorial, this time for these roses earrings. They are easy to make and I'm using really simple stuff, only seed beads and regular earring findings, so I'm sure even if you are a beginner, you will be able to make them with my step-by-step -step instructions. Consider subscribing with the bell, liking and sharing this video, in this way you motivate me to make more and more tutorials. Thank you so much for watching, without further ado let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 o seed beads, you could use 10 o seed beads if you want, and they are red and really light pink color. Here I'm also using earring findings, these are in golden color, but you could use silver or whatever type of earring findings you like. And by the way, down there in description you will find a full list of materials, Facebook page to share pictures of your creations that you did following me, link for PayPal donations, link to my second channel with the fast clips, and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. By the way, thank to all of you that are members now. This is monofilm and that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle and these are scissors. And now I'm going to take about 5 feet of thread on my needle, which is 1.5 meters, and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and I'm going to start my work by picking up 6 of these beautiful pink beads. Okay, I have 6 of those, 6, and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here... I'm going to make a knot. I'm making it by making here a loop and going twice with my tail thread through that loop. And then I pull. And then what I want to do is make one more knot. Okay, so here is what I have. Now I want to go through two beads in this direction. Okay guys, now I'm going to take two seed beads and I'm going backwards through this bead here. You see I have a loop between this pink bead in the center and these two newly added red beads. Let me focus. Okay, this is what I have now. Then I'm going in the next pink one. Okay, here this one. And I'm going to take two again. And I will do the same thing. I'm going backwards through this pink that I'm exiting out of. Backwards in circle. And now you see I have a loop between this pink and these two red beads. Then again in the next pink. And I'm going to take two. And this time I'm going through this pink and through the following pink. And in this way, I save one movement. Okay, here again I have the loop. And I'm already in the next pink. So I'm not going through it like I did in the previous steps. I'm just taking two going back and through the one after that and i'm gonna repeat this two more times Okay guys, and now I have this. Now my friends, what I want to do is go here in the next red bead. Okay. Like this. Now I'm going to take a pink one. 
and I go in the next two beads like this. Then again, I'm taking one pink and I go, I'm going and connecting the next two red beads. Then again, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay, now I have this cool element. By the way, I'm considering of incorporating this into a bracelet. Okay, so now I'm going in the next pink one. And what I'm going to take are five pink beads. And I'm going in the next pink. By the way, I'm trying really hard not to hide with my fingers the beginning of my work because you told me I'm doing this. Tell me the, in the comments if I succeed or if you have any other remarks for my videos. Okay, here I have five more and I'm going in the next one here. And I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end and then I'll be back. Okay, this is the third step. Do it three more times like this and meet me here. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind and repeat this part from here. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm finishing my work. Okay, I'm going here. Now, what I want to do is go through three beads in this direction. Three of the five beads that I added in my previous step. And now, when I'm exiting out of the third bead, I'm in the middle of these five beads. Here I have two, here I have two, and I'm exiting out of this one, the middle one. And I'm going to take three beads, and as I'm exiting out of the middle one, I'm going backwards through it. Just like this. Okay, then I want to go through these three beads, including the one at the inner angle. Okay, go like this. Then I will go in the next bead as well after the angle. And I'm going to take just one red bead and I'm going backwards again through the one before the angle, through the angle. like this and then again after the angle I will go through the following three beads and I'm in a position here at the middle of this five where I'm going to add my next three red beads. How I add them I go back in circle through this one. Okay, then again I repeat, I go through all of the beads and reach the angle, okay, and go after it, after the inner angle, and then through the bead that is here, after it, then take one red and go backwards through these three beads at the angle, the one before the angle, the angle one, okay, and then in fact in this direction you want to go through three in order to reach this part where the outer angle is, I mean the middle of this five that you added in your previous step, okay, then take three, and if you can, in one movement, you could do this just to save time. 
go directly at the angle and then through this one after that then again one bit and backwards through those and from here on guys i think you got the idea and you could do all of this by yourself if not rewind the video and repeat these steps here you go to through three add three then you go at the angle and the one after that and add one and repeat 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 and meet me here okay guys and here i am at my last step where i'm adding my last bit from this row now what i want to do is go through all of the bits in this direction and my goal is to exit out of those red beads at the top and then go like this and here i'm gonna start adding more red beads how i do this i take two and i go through this one at the angle then again i take two and go here through the next red one and basically guys what i do here is that i fill the gaps this row is really pleasant and really easy because you just add two beads everywhere at the gaps of your work okay and i'm sure that you're gonna be able to make it by yourself and i'll meet you here okay guys and i'm here at my last row where i'm adding my last beads from it and now you know i could work in this direction but it's easier for me to go in the other direction that is why i'm going to flip my work it's not obligatory just uh, personal preference because i'm right-handed if you're le left-handed you could do it in the other direction if you want it's up to you okay now i'm going here through one two three four five six beads through the one here that's at, at the angle and through the following one okay so now i'm one bit after the inner angle you see where my thread is and i want to take three pink beads don't worry your work bends a little bit at this stage we'll fix it later in the next rows okay and i'm adding these three beads here at the angle then i'm going through all of those beads here in this direction including through the one at the angle if you can in one movement if not you could do it in more movements okay now i'm going here at the angle and through the one after that through six beads in total okay counting from the angle okay here i am and i'm going to take three light pink beads and i go backwards like this and then through all of the beads in this direction okay and then through the angle then through all of the beads in this direction reaching the inner angle and then through the next seed bead and then take three and one bead before the angle through the angle and then through all of the beads in this direction okay guys and now continue this until the end and when i'm up to here i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last 
three beads from this row and what I want to do next is go again through all of those beads like this in this direction and exit through this one here at the top now in my next step I need to take nine beads okay I have here my nine and as I'm exiting through this angle here I'm going in the next red angle okay now I have this then I'm going to repeat it nine and I'm just connecting the two red angles skipping this middle part okay like this I'm going to continue this until the end and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last nine beads from this row and what I want to do next is go through all of those beads here in this direction reach here the red bead and go through the pink after that here at this curve the red one and the pink after that you see now what I want to do is take five red beads okay five and as I'm exiting through this pink I'm going backwards through the previous pink and through the red again just like this and I have five beads attached here then I will continue around the circle here again I'm going to reach this red one after the pinks then I will go out of the first pink then I'm going to take five red okay five and I go backwards through the pink and through the red just like this and I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end because it is absolutely the same thing if you're not sure how to do this just rewind the video to these first three steps and you will be okay so where should I exit I will exit out of this pink bead after the, the red one at this inner curve here and I will add five and I go backwards like this okay continue this and meet me here okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last five beads from this row now as I'm exiting after this red I want to go through five beads okay one two three four five and now I'm in the middle of these nine beads that I added in my previous step uh, I'm exiting out of the middle bead here after that I have one two three four beads and before that I have one two three four beads okay and as I'm exiting here I need to take five pink beads okay five of them and I'm going in the middle of these five beads that I added here or through the one that is sticking out the most then again I take five and I count one two three four five I'm going through the fifth one which is the middle of the nine that I added before then again one two three four five and go in the middle of these three of uh, these five sorry that I added okay then again one two 
three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. Go here, and I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end. Okay, five, and I go here through the middle one. Okay, guys, and I'm going to continue this absolutely the same thing. And when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last five beads from this row. And there is only one row to go until I finish my work. So, um... In this row, I will go around through all of my beads in this direction. And here I will be adding red beads at the inner angle. Okay. Here is what I'm going to be doing. Okay, now I go through all of those beads. Reach here one bead before the angle. Take just one red and go here through these five beads. Then again through the red and through the next five beads. Reach here the angle at one red. Through the next five and continue reinforcing the edges and adding one red here. Okay, and I'll be back to tell you how to finish your earring. And I'm here, guys, where I'm adding my last red bead from this row. Now I will go again through this red one and through the pink after this. And as I'm here, guys, after this pink bead, what I want to do is take two red beads, then my earring finding, and then two more red beads. Okay, so this is what I have on my needle. Two reds, earring finding, and two reds. And I'm going backwards like this. Okay. Then I want to reinforce this joint by going around through all of my beads several times. Okay, and after I'm ready with the reinforcement, I want to go here and make a knot. And how I do this, I make here a loop and I go once. Then I go second time through the loop I've made here and I pull. Then I go through some beads and by the way, you could repeat this knot several times. But when you're ready with the last knot, go through some beads in this direction and cut your thread. Okay, guys, and now my St. Valentine's Roses earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell and also like, share and comment. In this way, you help me so much and you motivate me to make more and more tutorials. Uh, you could check description for full list of materials, Facebook page to share pictures of your creations that you did following me, link to my second channel and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.